pals. Hold on, let me move this. It's right in the way. Um, good morning, pals. As you can see, let's address first things first. Your girl has got orange hair. I am obsessed with it. It was actually an accident, um, or initially an accident. When I do my pink hair, I usually mix two different colours together. Went to the, um, I was going to say supermarket, I didn't buy it in the supermarket. The, what's it called? Shop. Went to Boots, um, which is a, like a pharmacy, drugstore. That's what they call it across the pond. Um, I don't know if you have Boots in America. I'm not sure. Um, basically, went and bought some hair colour and they didn't have one of the colours that I would usually mix together. Now, I usually mix like a pinky colour with a peachy colour and whack it on. It comes out a nice pink. Um, they didn't have the peach that I wanted. So I bought something that I thought would be quite similar. Um, it wasn't until I got it home and started mixing these two colours together. I was like, that is not peach. It is orange. And I was like, do you know what? I like an experiment beam. We'll just go with it. Um, put the stuff on my hair and just watched it get more and more and more orange as it developed. And I was like, I've, I've committed now. I've committed now. So I washed a lot of it off. Um, and it was like this gorgeous coral colour. And the more I looked at it, the more I was like, I flipping love this. But if it was just slightly more orange, I would be even more obsessed with it. So I went over it again last night with the orange. And now I'm like, I feel like I've gone full ginger but it's still kind of pinky but definitely more orange um I'm obsessed with this hair if I'm quite honest um so yeah that is the first thing we need to address because that is like the glaringly obvious elephant in the room right now your girl's got orange hair which she did not have last time she vlogged so now that we've addressed that we can talk about the launch of the pansy goodie bags oh my gosh um, I was not expecting this launch to do as well as the previous launch, just because I completely messed up my timings. I, when I announced when I was going to launch this thing, I did not realise it was half term and I would be not, would be not, would not be recording a studio vlog, um, on that week. So that's one thing that I completely messed up basically um the other thing that I completely messed up was that what was the other thing I've forgotten oh was that we were going out for dinner that night which was already booked and I again didn't look in my diary when I planned this launch um so I had I was launching at six o'clock and we needed to leave the house at six fifteen. and I was like if anything goes wrong I have 15 minutes to fix it that's it so I had to get ready to go out before the launch so that I could do all the things I needed to do at six o'clock and then you know I could leave it and it was fine thankfully nothing actually went wrong tech wise with the the launch of stuff and within the first 20 minutes I think I had at least one order possibly two um so it went really really well the pansy bag has sold equally as fast as the Cupig bag did which is amazing but the good news is I have much more stock of this bag so what happened with the previous launch is that I only had eight Cupig goodie bags to sell and I sold them all in a weekend and I was like damn I should have ordered more and now I don't have any left for people to buy the good news for you guys is I have sold exactly the same amount i've sold no in fact i sold one more i've sold nine goodie bags this weekend um which is amazing so thank you so much if you were um somebody who ordered because i'm recognizing like the same names popping up from um my orders and my youtube i'm like oh that person follows me on youtube so i know some of you who are watching this have ordered a pansy goodie bag so thank you so so much um so yeah, I sold more than I did of the Cupid bags, but I have more stock. So currently, as it stands, it is Monday um, and I still have, uh, I'm not sure quite how many actually, but I still have goodie bags in stock. So I'm hoping by the time this vlog goes out, there will still be some left um, that you can go and grab if you want one. So today we are order packing from the orders that we've had over the weekend. Um, 
what else that's pretty much it for today mostly it's just going to be order packing and i've got to print some thank you cards um we have to print the pansy wrapping paper um and then the pansy wrapping paper is going to be the wrapping paper for march but anybody who's ordered a pansy bag is going to get it in pansy wrapping paper because that seems silly to send out pansy goodie bags in cupic wrapping paper but if you order anything else from the shop it will continue to come in cupic paper until march which is on oh my god is that on friday oh this year is like flying by i cannot i cannot um yeah so that's the plan for today print the pansy wrapping paper pack up the pansy goodie bags that have been sold so far it's all very very exciting and i can't wait for people to start receiving them and opening them and it's just gonna be so much fun um so yeah that's what we're doing now so let's crack on with it is the bulk of the printing done that I need to do. We have some cute pansy um, wrapping paper for the goodie bags to be wrapped in and um, any orders that we get through March to be wrapped in. And we also have, um, so I don't know if we've got one to hand actually, because excuse me, um, I think I ran out. Um, but when it was Q-Pig season, um, I did thank you cards that looked pretty much like this, but they had Q-Pigs on like this white bit. Um, but I decided for the pansy ones, I would do the colour to match the goodie bag. But on the other side, they've got a cute little, I don't even think you can see that very well on this camera, um, a cute little pansy and it says, you blooming got this. And I thought people could chuck them in the bin if they wanted to, or you could like stick it up on your wall as a little cute little postcard print type thing um so yeah that's what i've just been and printed I printed off all the packing slips and all the um the postage labels so now we just have to pack the things up so yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be it pretty much just packing and printing for today so let's get packed shall we in my mind i'm like i could print no not print i could film a cute little like asmr order packing um thing the reality is i will never be able to do that because i either start singing to myself humming to myself start talking to myself because why the heck not and it ruins the whole asmr vibe so unfortunately um if you are here for asmr order packing content you might be thoroughly disappointed unless you just want to listen to me singing along to myself um through my headphones um although i don't usually have these i normally just end up singing to myself um with you know the, the general music that's just playing in my head um but I went and found some headphones so I can actually listen to music while I pack. So, um, yeah, no ASMR segment from me because I cannot be trusted not to talk over it.
folders packed all the dispatch notifications have gone out i've just got to walk them up to the post box um which i will actually I might do now i normally do it on the school run but i'm not doing the school run today so yeah i might just go and do that quickly now so that it's done um and then i don't really know what i'm doing for the rest of the the day to be honest pals but oh, hold on i've got a hair in my eye it's really annoying me yeah don't really know what i'm doing for the rest of the day i have got more than one bloom and marvelous bag still in stock but i only have one actually like made and ready um all the others i have got this all the stock here um i just haven't actually put them all together yet so i'll probably spend some time doing that this week so that whatever's left is um just there and i can like pick and pack because that's that's what i like to do um i do get kind of annoyed with myself if i get an order in for something that i haven't already made um because it just takes like 10 times as long to do that order whereas when the stuff is already made and it's just a case of pulling it off the shelf and putting it in the boxes um that's just so much easier um so yeah i might get a few more bloom and marvelous bags made up um don't forget if you want a bloom and marvelous bag if you are a uk customer you can buy it from my website if you are an international customer you can get it from etsy um if you click through to the link in the description it takes you to my shop and then it pops up with a little box to say where do you want it shipped to because if you want it shipped to the uk then click here and if you want it shipped internationally then click here and it will redirect you to the right places for um the shop so yeah um i'm gonna run off and do the post and then we will see i might not come back in here today um or at least i might not film any more of it today um yeah uh, so i'll probably see you tomorrow pals hello pals today is tuesday um and i am going to do a couple of things today i've got some sticker sheets that i want to design but i might go and do that on the sofa this afternoon um but what i'm going to do this morning is i've got an, one etsy order to do and i'm going to get some more bloom and marvelous bags actually made up because this is the last one that i have actually made um, so I'm going to get a few more made up, um, just in case we get any more orders of those. Um, I'm going to make these monthly bags only available for the month that they're supposed to launch in. So they'll be available for about five weeks um, on average. This is the March bag. We're still in February at the minute, although by the time this video goes out, it will then be March. But right now, it's still February. Um, but that is the March bag, so that is the theme for March. And I will continue to sell it either until we run out of stock or till the end of March. So, um, yeah, whichever comes first, basically. Um, and then it will be retired for a new bag to come in April. Oh, that's another thing that I need to have a look at um, because we just had a half term, so I was off not doing i was still fulfilling orders in that time but i don't film while i'm doing that because i can't film and work and parent and it's just a lot so um i still fulfill orders during the holidays but i don't film myself doing it um we've just had a half term and my kids are only back at school for like three and a bit weeks and then they've got two and a half weeks off again so i need to like put that into my planner so that I can figure out what the heck I'm gonna do about the April goodie bag. I know we are only just getting into March um, and the March goodie bag only just launched. And yeah, for you pals, it will be a case that you're like a month behind me. I have to work like a month ahead of myself. Um, otherwise I won't get these goodie bags launched in the correct months that i've planned them for um so yeah the bloom and marvelous bag is the march bag but i now that we are almost in march need to be thinking about april and honestly 
it's it feels like inception in my brain trying to figure that out it really does um but yeah i need to get some things put in my diary because i want to do a goodie bag for april but i also want to do a kind of mini shop update and i'm thinking i can bundle these two things together so that when you come to get your april goodie bags there is also new stuff in the shop so that if you want to get all the stuff together you can um but i don't want to launch during a school holiday again and that means that i'm not going to have a lot of time to get this done so <laughs> i'm gonna start thinking about what i want to put in the shop update i'll be honest with you pals the next goodie bag is practically i'm gonna say it's practically done it's not but everything is designed everything is mapped out i know what i'm doing for it i just need to actually put the things together and the thing that seems to take the longest or the most effort the hardest bit of work is the ideas the designing of the things once that's all done then it's just right we can crack on and make things now that's the easiest part um so for the April goodie bag, the hard part's already done, which means I do have room to then focus on what I want to bring in for a shop update. There are a couple of things that I know I'm definitely going to bring in, um, but I would love your opinions on this. Um, leave me a comment if you have an opinion on this, because I would love to do some t-shirts or maybe just one, maybe plural, might be a little ambitious. Um, but I'd love to do a t-shirt, a tote bag, um, and yeah, I have some designs, but I don't know what to do with them. Like, I've got, I can't recall if I showed it, I'll put it up here, um, I've got a little design of, like, Barney the Duck and his little slug friend, and I'm like, what do I do with that? Do I just slap that on a tote bag and call it a day? My thing is puns, really, like the little card you've blooming got this um got another one i squealy like you like that's kind of my thing that i do i draw cute illustrations and i pair them up with little puns and i'm really stuck for what to do with the barney and slug illustration i do have some ideas around that but yeah i don't know i don't know if i'm overthinking this if i'm like over complicating it for myself i'm not sure um so yeah i, I want to have a think about that but if there's anything that you would like to see from me let me know let me know in the comments because that might spark off some ideas you might have some great ideas of like things i could bring to the shop and i might just be like oh my god why didn't i think of that so by all means let me know pals um but for now let's crack on with making up a few more goodie bags. few 
blooming marvellous bags made. I intended on doing five um, so that I've got just six ready to go. Um, but when I peeled the first bag off of the cutting mat, it's a brand new cutting mat, so it's super sticky, I managed to rip it. So I was like, okay, never mind, I'll just do four. Went to do four and then realised, I can't even show you because I've packed them up now, um, but I only had enough mini cards and mini planner sticker sheets left to do three more goodie bags. Um, so rather than do a lot more printing of those today, I am going to just leave these ones in stock um, and then once those ones are sold then I will do another batch of everything. Um, realistically I don't want to print off a load more cards and mini planner sticker sheets um, that might not sell. So I've got one, two, three, I've got four goodie bags completely made. Once those ones are gone, then I will make up a few more. Um, they take me, it wouldn't, it won't take me long to do them. And I have everything that I need to make them. Um, it's just, I don't want to make them up unnecessarily. So um, once I've sold those four, I'll, I'll make a few more up and then, yeah, that will be that. They don't take me very long to do. Um, so I'm gonna, do some designing of some new sticker sheets that I want to get done um, for a shop update. I started making some plans last night, which I've totally gone and forgotten about because I've just opened up my laptop and Notion was still there. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I was doing this last night. But um, yeah, I might do some sticker sheets I might print some off actually because I don't have anything to hand to show you because I've literally just packed them all um but in the bloom and marvelous bag the mini planner sticker sheet you get with that on the bottom of it I had two little um I don't know what you call them two little strips that's the word two little strips of um washi tape it's not really washi tape but it's you can use it as washi tape and I thought I might make up some complete sticker sheets that are just full of washi um, because washi tape is expensive to manufacture. It's not expensive to manufacture, but you'd have to, I'd have to buy so many units. I don't have the storage. I don't have the cash flow. Um, people have spoke to me about Kickstarter. Honestly, I'm not, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that because as this business grows and gets more, um, consistent in sales and stuff I will have the cash flow eventually um, I'm not honestly interested in doing a Kickstarter um, so yeah but what I can do in the meantime is to do sticker sheets that have washi strips on them and I thought I would do them in paper rather than vinyl so a lot of my stickers I'll show you here I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference on camera but a lot of my stickers are like this shiny vinyl, it's waterproof um, and yeah, I make most of my stickers that way. I've got like payday stickers which are the same, they're like shiny, waterproof, you can use them on, they're meant for planners but you can use them on other stuff as well. Um, and then I have a few like these birthday ones which you can see they're not shiny and they are paper. They're not waterproof because the waterproof ones have a coating on the top, which um, makes them really difficult to write on. These ones need to be written on, so I did these ones in plain paper, but this doesn't feel right for washi tape. This doesn't quite feel right either, but it's more like a proper washi tape than this, and it will tear more easily. So if you want it to be, like if I do a whole sheet of a whole sheet a whole strip of washi across there that's quite big but you'll be able to tear it if you want to um i know some people cut their washi tape but i really like those little torn edges and i think that will work really well on the paper stickers rather than the vinyl stickers so i need to give it a bit of a test out but that's what i'm thinking um and i've got a few different washi type oh i'm knocking everything over and my dogs go nuts because there's obviously a dog barking in the street. If I'm going to do washi strip sheets, I thought it was better to do them in the paper. So 
I'm probably going to toddle off, make some tea, do those designs, and I may or may not get to printing them today. What time is it? That's the thing. Oh, it's only half 11. I might get to print in them today. If not, I will come back and do it. Not tomorrow. Thursday, because I'm, I have to go out tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I said I was gonna go off to the couch to do this, but I didn't because it was actually easier to do it at the desk. Um, but I just did a little washi tape sheet. This is just a test print, so I need to see how the colors come out on the actual sticker paper, but it's little slugs and shrooms. Um, I think it looks quite cute, but I've just set up the document on um, Silhouette Studio, so I'm gonna print it from there and get one cut out and see what it see what it actually looks like. I've got an email that's, I don't know what that was. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see what it actually looks like once it's printed out, but I think it looks quite cute. I'm not, I don't know if it's gonna be a bit too wide, um, but we'll see, we'll see. I think I need to print one and peel it and see what it actually looks like, but so far it looks good. to play around with the settings a little bit more on the machine because um, for some reason it's not cutting in the right places on the outside of the sheet but the actual little washi strips came out really cute. So yeah, those are my little washi strips. Um, the actual sheet wasn't cutting properly and I'm not exactly sure why but that is going to be a task for Thursday because I have to toddle off now and get a few other bits done elsewhere so i will be back in the office thursday i might be able to get in here tomorrow but i doubt it so i'll be back in here thursday to try and figure out what the heck is wrong with my cutting machine and get these washi sheets done properly morning pals today is wednesday and i said i wouldn't be in here today because i was going out but my plans for today got cancelled because my friend is sick so uh get well soon um so yeah i'm not going out today which means i'm in the office today instead of tomorrow because um i like to do monday tuesday wednesday in the office thursday is like vlog editing day and then friday i like to be at home and try and catch up on housework and stuff because lord only knows it's never ending yesterday i designed some sticker sheets let me get one some washi tape sticker sheets um including this one but i was having so much trouble printing and cutting them and um, i'm gonna peel this one so you can see the, the actual little washi tape now i am printing these on um sticker paper i usually do all my stickers on waterproof vinyl um apart from any that are like write on stickers because you can't write on the vinyl um but i wanted to do these ones in the paper because i wanted you to be able to tear the washi because i i don't know about you but if i use washi tape i like those jagged little edges um so I wanted it to be like terrible. So that's why I've done it in the paper, but I'm having so much trouble actually cutting it. And I don't really know why. So I'm gonna have another go um, at it this morning. I 
actually have two different um, designs. I'll show you from here. So I've got the little slug with the shrooms, slugs and shrooms, and then I've actually got like just the mushrooms um, and or toadstools, whatever you want to call them. They're toadstools technically, aren't they? Um, but the toadstool one I've also done in like a bunch of different colours. So there is the slugs and shrooms sheet, which is this one. And then there is also a rainbow shrooms sheet. Um, and I also did a Barney and Slug sticker sheet as well. I was on a roll yesterday. Once I like made it to the couch, I was like just on a roll making stickers. Um, well, not stickers, sticker designs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I also have some Etsy orders to go out. I also have another goodie bag order to go out, which I'm so pleased about. Um, so yeah. It's it's all it's all happening today, but I'm gonna do these sticker sheets, or at least have like another test print of these sticker sheets first, and see if I can figure out why it wasn't cutting properly. Um, and then we will move on to packing orders. Oh, I also have quite an exciting delivery coming today, um, which is for something i'm not gonna i won't say what it is just yet because it's really really early and i don't know if it's gonna work but it's something for the next goodie bag for april um i think i said this already yesterday but like you pals are only just like receiving your bloom and marvelous goodie bags which is a goodie bag for march and technically it's still february for one more day two more days it's a leap year isn't it it's a leap year this year um so yeah technically well two more days including today i mean um so yeah technically it's still february i've only just finished the goodie bag for march and i'm still sending them out but i'm already talking to you about the goodie bag for april because i have to work ahead of myself otherwise i will never get it done in time um so yeah these these are all things that are happening plus i also want to do like a shop update as well um honestly pals i I'm trying to pack a lot into the next month. Um, if I pull this off, it will be nothing short of a miracle, okay? Um, but first, sticker sheets. having a nightmare with stickers at the minute um i think it might be the blade in the machine i'm gonna have to like sort it out for another one i think um but i also have a cute little barney and duck sticker sheet and i'm now going to attempt to do this sticker the actual the barn i said barney and duck i meant barney and slug for god's sake my brain today i'm gonna do this barney and slug as a die cut holographic as well which will go in some mystery sticker packs most likely um i'm not sure i'm still procrastinating over making a decision about what the heck i'm doing with die cut stickers um because i thought they would sell really well at craft fairs and they didn't saying that i only did two craft fairs last year but say i thought the stickers would be the thing that sold the most because they're like the cheapest item. But no, it didn't happen that way. I think my printer's supposed to be printing and it's not. What's going on? It thinks I haven't got any paper. Oh, it's not in there properly, that's fine. Let's do that. Um, yeah, so I thought the stickers would be like the best seller at 
the craft fair and they weren't um also i don't sell that many of them on my website i don't sell that many on etsy either so i don't know whether to just do stickers as mystery packs i'm not sure i'm still procrastinating on this decision i've basically left all the stickers that i've already listed on there but i've been making new stickers but there's no actual way to buy them um because i like making them but does anybody want to buy my stickers <laughs> it seems not really um but the few of you have bought mystery packs um i've had a couple of orders through that have had mystery packs added in so i'm like okay maybe that's a better way to do stickers if when it's just like a mix and match and you just get a random selection um i also didn't take anything like that to the christmas craft fairs that i did because i hadn't come up with those ideas yet so i didn't really have like the blind bags and stuff that i have um so i wonder if they would sell better if they were mystery packs um but we shall see we should see um i haven't got any craft fairs until like may um my plan was to do one every quarter but it just didn't happen and honestly i don't i really enjoy doing them but i think they're just gonna have to be like one-off little random things that i do rather than kind of a regular part of how i run my business just because my husband works really really long days so when he's at work i'm not able to rely on him for childcare. he also works every other weekend so it's just happened so far that all the craft fairs that i've looked at booking he's at work which means i'll have to take the kids with me to a craft fair which i don't want to do um i have got other people i could ask to look after the kids but the other thing is i really don't like doing craft fairs on my own um i will do them on my own if they're like three or four hours any more than that and i'm like i don't want to be here on my own because if i need to go I, I hate the idea of like going to the toilet and leaving my stuff even though there would be other vendors around and you know i could probably ask people i just don't like the idea of doing it on my own so i would rather have someone with me and he is my person that i would have and yeah if he's at work and i want to do a craft fair they've just all fallen on weekends that either he's at work or we already have plans or i also care for my brother occasionally as well so they've been weekends that my brother is supposed to be with me and yeah it's just not fallen right and I'm like, maybe I should just take this as a sign from the universe that craft fairs are fun and they are things that we should do kind of as and when we can, but not something that I build in as like an integral part of my business the way I was thinking about it last year. Because last year I was like, I will do one every quarter and I just, I'm not able to. So it's not that much of a big deal. I just kind of thought for this year it would be a more regular thing that I was doing so but I think I have to bear in mind that yes it's fun to do that but it's not going to be happening all the time for me like I thought it was going to um, anyway uh, so yeah that's where I'm at with die cut stickers etc that's what I was then printing just a test print of these to see how big they'll be and that looks cute yes is it exactly the same size as this one though? oh no it's not it's bigger than this one it is bigger it is uh yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna actually get those printed holographic and cut and then i will move on to doing some orders these things by the way that i'm doing now i don't have a date for the shop update that i'm gonna do but i would just had ideas and i needed to run with it and test it all out and then i can be like right that will go in the shop update um so occasionally you might see things on the vlog that you're like that never came to the shop probably because it didn't work out and i really have to like do thing i'm i'm not a very good planner in the sense that i'm really good at making a plan not very good at sticking to a plan but also not very good at foreseeing like little snags and things that might crop up so the best way for me to plan is to do um so this is really part of my planning 
but I have to do the thing to go, oh, okay, I've made that mistake, let's do that differently. I'm really not good at like foreseeing what potentially could go wrong. Some people are excellent at this. Some people, I mean, Lewis is really good at this. He's just like, he will, I will come up with a plan and he will be like, okay, but what about A, B, C, X, Y, and Z that you haven't considered? And I'm like, ah, uh, yeah. But when it's just me here on my own, which it is most of the time, A, B, C, X, Y, and Z do not get considered until they are a problem. So that's why part of my planning process is just to get on and do the thing and kind of plan as plan as we go. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's, let's do this and then we can pack up orders and I'm looking around because I'm like, I'm sure there are other things we're supposed to do, but I don't know. Um, Welcome to my chaotic life. Uh, let's make some stickers. Oh God. Okay, I've totally messed these up. What the heck? Ah, oh, damn it. I did not make a good job of that. <laughs> I think out of a whole sheet, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine usable stick, oh no, 10 out of four, eight, 12. Okay, there's six stickers now that I'm not gonna be able to use. Never mind. today is just not my day look at these oh not only did i mess up the holographic what even is this oh this machine okay this is going to be attempt two at the holographic barney stickers <sighs> pray for me pray for me oh, i thought i was filming and i wasn't but this holographic application went much better than the last one i've got one little dink here um, apart from that, that all looks good. And I think the reason it didn't um, cut correctly the first time is because the holographic was too close to these marks and then it can't read them properly. So we're gonna have some non-holographic ones just to fill the page and some holographic ones too. Moment of truth. Oops. Oh, look at that. So we've got a few that are just plain and then we have these little cutie holographic Barney and Slug. Aren't they adorable? Which means I am well on my way to having stock for a shop update which will come at some point towards the end of March. I still need to figure out the dates. Um, I also had a really nice idea for, I was gonna do a t-shirt but I think I might do a sweatshirt instead. Um, so I had a really nice idea for a sweatshirt that I want to do. Not sure logistically how I'm gonna make this work to be quite honest. They might end up being like, like a pre-order item. Um, Either that or extremely limited stock. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I'm going to make it happen because I really want to make it happen. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think we're like well on our way, actually. I think this is, I've spent the last couple of weeks working on goodie bags, but also having in the back of my mind, like, I really want to do a shop update and I don't know what to do. Like I've got all these illustrations and no ideas what to do with them. Um, but actually I've managed to like turn that around. I think it's because I needed to work on the goodie bag first. Um, which as it stands, there are still goodie bags in stock by the way. Um, so if you want, um, the only thing I have to show you that you get in the goodie bag is the key ring, but it's inside the goodie bag. Um, there's still goodie bags left, but yeah, I think I was working on that. And then because that was like in my mind, I didn't have room to be thinking about the things. Now I'm like, the goodie bag is done and it's launched and it's available for sale. I can like move on to the next thing now. Um, so yeah, 
it's all very exciting. I feel very good about today, actually. I wasn't sure how today was going to go, but um, there's been quite a lot of trials, to be quite honest, with these stickers. They have not gone according to plan, but we figured it all out in the end. I've got the start of a little collection here. I now need to go pack up my Etsy orders and my website order. Um, oh, and I don't know if I have any over here. I need to pack up some more mystery sticker packs. I have finished packing up my two little orders that are going out to the post box shortly. Um, but that's it for this week's studio vlog, pals. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have en have enjoyed it. And yeah, like, comment and subscribe because all those things are super helpful to help me grow this channel. And I will see you in the next one, pals.